Hi, it's Jonathan again. Today, I was thinking of talking about this little thing. The handphone. Oh, the mobile phone. Uh, I just got myself a... Yeah, a Pixel 3 XL. The most hated phone <laughs> at this season. But I love this phone. Uh, okay, I, I don't know about you, but there's something about stock Android, you know, that I really dig. Uh, no bloatware, nothing. Okay, so I know, I know, I know. There'll be a lot of discussion about this. There are discussions about this, you know, the pro and cons. But I'm not going to talk about the Google phone. I'm just talking about the mobile phone in general. And how is it useful for musicians like you and me? So stick around. Well, I arrange, I produce, so uh, there are a lot of things that I have to take note of and keep track of. So um, here are like five uh, stuff that I can do with the mobile phone uh, in my music production or in my everyday work as a, either as a producer or arranger or just a musician. Number one is uh, if you happen to have an Apple uh, iPhone then it's probably the Siri but in my case is Google the Google Assistant uh, the Google Assistant is so well uh, um, how should we say developed that it has become truly an assistant to me I could make appointments uh, I could I could ask him or her to remind me to do certain stuff and because of the whole Google equals ecosystem you know the emails the and the calendars you know whatever our travel dates i have you know it's all linked together and it it works really well for me so i could make or uh, i could even like you know make an appointment uh, with someone else uh, knowing that uh, the dates have been set up uh, by google assistant in my calendar so i have i, I have track of that and i'm um, very aware of what's going to come up in a couple of days you know beforehand and of course, uh, when I'm well, I'm an avid cyclist, so uh, when I cycle uh, long distances, sometimes I have ideas for stuff like you know, sometimes for the YouTube channel or for for stuff that I'm writing or stuff that I'm arranging. So I could actually take note of it through the Google Assistant uh, without actually like you know stopping and, and and really like you know texting down what I wanted. I just could just speak to her or him and uh, he or him will set a, a note for it. And it's pretty cool, you know. Uh, we, we have come to this age of time when we have truly evolved from pen and, pen, pen and paper to voice recognition and voice input. So something to think about, right? Number two, the Humble Tap Tempo app. Our, this app is such a useful app because um, I'm going to show it to you. So it's basically like this. It's very simple. You know, you have the tap and then after you tap it, you know, like this is the button you tap. And after you tap, you show you the tempo right on top. So this is really good for me when I'm figuring out uh, what's, what, what sort of tempo this song is going to be when I'm, when I'm doing an arrangement. Uh, it's really useful because uh, sometimes the demo will come in in a way where the tempo fluctuates a whole lot, you know, and because the songwriter or the the the, the client, you know, uh, have problem with timing, you know, so I, I couldn't fault him for that. So I have to like kind of decide uh, which tempo the song is going to be. And so this comes in really handy uh, to kind of like know in a basic way uh, how fast or how slow the song is going to be. And that's where, you know, my arrangement will be based on that. And this comes in really handy uh, during during live work, you know, when, say, uh, a singer comes up and, and he or she wants to change the tempo because he or she feels that, you know, it's too fast. So I could work with her and I'll just tap and I'll kind of find out, okay, is this good? Is this good for you? Is this good for you? <laughs> and she's, if it's good for, if the tempo is good for, for that singer, then that's it you know we have the tempo and we have everything the third app is a app called the bmp wizard uh, this is available in android the tap tempo is also available in android 
uh, but I'm not sure about the Apple or uh, the iOS. Uh, you know, I, I I don't know whether it's available there for the iPhone. So you may have you, you might have something similar to it. You know, so this is the BPM wizard. Yeah, what's so cool about this is that you can input your your BPM of the song, and then you can calculate uh, the delay time. And this is uh, this is really useful for me because uh, as a guitarist, sometimes you know, especially when I'm working with the Helix or uh, native plugin, you know, or uh, sometimes I need to calculate like what sort of delay time should I have for the left or for the right, you know. So this is really handy because it comes in it shows you the delay time in that in that bpm in that tempo uh where is a quarter note a whole note you know 16. so you can you can choose and decide you know how fast you want the delay to be on left and right so it's really useful for this uh of course there the plugins uh the the, the of course the helix native can also run on tempo meaning you just input your tempo and it automatically uh, decide which delay sound you want but sometimes if you want to have a little bit sorry a little bit more creative uh uh delay times then you know this is good for you you know this app yeah so check it out but the fourth app uh, that is really useful for a musician. It's it's available in every phone, all right. Uh, it's called the recorder, you know, or if they can call it the voice recorder or you know the phone recorder, whatever you know, whatever phones you have. So uh, this is a basic thing that a phone should have, and it's so useful for a musician, especially if you're a songwriter. You know, um, okay, the back in those days. Where we do not have voice recorder on phones, are uh, there was one time when I was uh, in a cab, and I had an idea for a song, and I need to get the idea down, and you know I, I didn't have no pen, no paper, so I, I used my mobile phone back then. I think it's a Nokia, you know those big bulky stuff, and I call home because my home has an answering machine, so <laughs> when the answering machine kicked in. I sang to the monster machine. <laughs> okay, so after uh, singing to the recorder and getting my idea uh, set forth into the into the, into the answering machine, uh, the taxi driver turned back and looked at me and said, "You are one funny man." You know, so <laughs> yeah, that was that was pretty cool. It was pretty funny though. But nowadays with the handphone, you know, you have your 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 recorder. You know, it's cool. You know, you can actually uh, record your ideas on your handphone. Or discreetly, of course, you know, you don't want to sing too loud in public. And yeah, and then it, it's in your phone and you can always kept, come back to it and work on it. Yeah. The fifth app is, of course, the Humble Music Player. You know, whether it's in iTunes, in the iOS ecostructure, or in the Android, you have the Play, uh, what is this called? Play Music, you know, the Google Play. And this is where you have your, hopefully, your library of songs. And this is so useful for um, for musicians because we 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 need ideas. You know, uh, we're not talking about copying ideas or copying ideas from or ripping ideas from of other other artists. But you know, to to be able to 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 listen to other people's music. You know, that's that is a privilege and that's a joy. And you know, it, it's a it's a good thing for musicians to listen to. To all sorts of genres of music, and so the humble music player is so important, you know, and uh, it, it it contributes to your growth as a musician in many many ways. So here we go. Uh, these are the five apps that that is most useful to musicians, to every musician, right? So um, hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, uh, give me a thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you again next time. So ciao.